Hey everybody, Dr. Chris, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine physician. And today, I'm gonna take a high school biology test just to see if I can pass. Yeah, I got it. It's been a long time since I've been in high school. I had to do biology, like it was actually my undergraduate major when I was in university. But I wanted to see how much of that information I retain at this point in my career and whether I would be able to pass a high school biology test without studying. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. Let's see if I can get this. So what we have here is a biology test, which we've taken from a website online. And this test is broken down into two parts. There is one that deals with anatomy and the other which deals with physiology. Anatomy, of course, is the science which refers to the alignment and the position of various body parts. And physiology is the branch of science which deals with how all of these processes and systems work together to keep you alive. So let's start with this test. I'm gonna read the question. I will read each of the multiple choice answers. Then I will give you my selection. And at the end, we'll see what my score is. We're gonna score part A independently of part B. So we're gonna do the anatomy part first, then we'll do the physiology part. I haven't studied. This is completely off the top of my head. I haven't looked at these questions and I haven't done any of this stuff for the last, well, several few many years couple of decades or something like that. Wow. If you guys want to take the test with me, yeah. <laughs> you can tabulate your own score. So you can write down the answer while I'm taking the test. See if you can score better than I can. Let's go. Question number one. The pericardial cavity is the area that surrounds the A, heart, B, lungs, C, brain, D, muscles. Come on, man. Obviously, that's the heart. Pericardium, heart. The average heart is the size of the fist of an adult. Mm-hmm, okay, yeah. Question number two. The area of the body known as the lumbar region would be found at A, the upper arm, B, the neck, C, the foot, or D, the lower back. Is this a high school test or is this like a, a kindergarten test? Why are you sad? Because I don't want to go to Sweden and I don't know how to. Obviously, the answer for that is D, the lower back. Up to 80% of all adults will experience back pain that drives them to seek medical attention at some point in their lives, including Tiger Woods and George Clooney. What? Which body system is responsible for senses and response to stimuli? A, integument, B, digestive, C, the nervous, or D, the endocrine? Senses and response to stimuli? Obviously the answer is C, the nervous system. The body has billions and billions and billions of nerve cells which take in information through the senses, which the brain then interprets to understand what is going on around and to you. Question number four, a cut that only goes through a layer of skin would be called A, lateral, B, superficial, C, deep, or D, superior. If you watch my video on how to do doctor speak, you would know the answer to this, but I'll tell you, it's B, superficial. Superficial cuts in the skin, like when you get a paper cut. Ah! Question number five, the body's tendency to maintain a balanced, stable environment is called A, hormonal balance, B, static constancy, C, biofeedback, D, homeostasis. The answer for this is D, homeostasis. Stasis meaning state, homeo meaning similar. Similar states, homeostasis. Okay. Question number six. Anatomy focuses on the structures, whereas physiology focuses on, oh my lord, I think I told you guys the answer already. A, location, B, relationships, C, functions, or D, the whole body. Since I told you this already, you know the answer, and that is C, functions. Question number seven. The passage of digested substances through membranes is called A, circulation, B, excretion, C, absorption, or D, assimilation. Obviously, it's C, absorption. 
This is not even really a test. This is like a quiz. This is like a baby quiz. This is not even the first page of a test. This is like the, the warm up. This is what happens before you write your name on the page because they want to just see if you're awake. Peter! <laughs> Question number eight. The toe of the foot is blank to the knee. A, proximal, B, hyper, C, lateral, D, distal. The toe of the foot is distal to the knee. Knee is proximal, toe is distal, down the chain. So that's the first part, let's get the score. Boom, shop a lot, a solid 100%. But like I said, these are like easy questions. That was the anatomy stuff. which was easy, okay? So now we're gonna go and do the part B of this test, which is the physiology. Hopefully it'll be a little harder, a little bit more challenging, so we'll see. Question number one. The process of moving digested substances through the membrane of your small intestine would be called A, digestion, B, circulation, C, absorption, D, excretion. The answer for this one is a. Digestion. What you say? Pushing. The passage of digested substances through membranes is called A. Circulation. B. Excretion. C. Absorption. Or D. Assimilation. Obviously, it's C. Absorption. Question number two, all the physical and chemical changes that occur in an organism is referred to as A, metabolism, B, catabolism, C, homeostasis, or D, assimilation. Well, the answer for this one is A, metabolism. Catabolism doesn't sound like a real word. It sounds like cannibalism, but it's not. Catabolism refers to the breakdown of compounds and cells, whereas anabolism refers to the buildup or the production of compounds and cells. Question number three. A group of tissues that work together to form a particular task is called A or an A system, B organelle, C a compound, or D an organ. Good question. The answer is D an organ. Teeth are more organ than bone, even though they are part of the skeletal system. They are made up of dentin and enamel, which is the strongest substance of the body. Question number four. The heart and lungs are housed in what cavity of the body? A, the pelvic cavity. B, the thoracic cavity. C, the abdominal cavity. D, the peritoneum. The heart and lungs are in this cavity of the body, and this is the thoracic cavity. So the answer is B, the thoracic cavity. Question number five. Organs are lubricated by a substance called blank fluid. A, pleural fluid. B, visceral fluid. C, parietal fluid. Or D, serous fluid. Well, pleural refers to lungs. Visceral refers to organs in the abdominal cavity. Parietal refers to things in the head. And serous is the only thing that's common to all of these areas. So I'm gonna go with D, serous. Serous fluids fill the body cavities and are typically pale yellow and transparent. Kind of like a little bit thicker apple juice. Kind of, but not really, but kind of. Question number six. This is anatomy. They said this was physiology, they were wrong. Your wrist is blank to your elbow. They asked the same question, similar question almost. So your wrist is blank to your elbow, fill in the blank. A, anterior, B, posterior, C, medial, D, distal. So we know that anterior means the front, posterior means the back, medial means towards the middle. So the answer is obviously D, distal. Your wrist, distal to your elbow, farther away from the center line. Ventral or anterior on the front. Like here. Yeah. Posterior, dorsal. Okay. On the back. Wolfie. Superior, near the top. Like I'm better than you are. Well, no. Question number seven. Which system is responsible for the secretion of hormones? A, the endocrine system. B, the integumentary system. 
C, the circulatory system, or D, the digestive system. Secretion of hormones is A, the endocrine system. There are nearly 30 different hormones made in your body. Yes, yes there are. Adrenaline is one, it gets you going. Do, 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 do. So question number eight, the inner region of membrane that covers and surrounds the lungs is A, the parietal pleura, B, the visceral pleura, C, the parietal pericardium, or D, the visceral pericardium. Well, right away, we know that we can get rid of C and D because they both talk about the heart. We know it's either A or B, the parietal or the visceral pleura, but viscera means on the side of the organ. So I would say that this is B, the visceral pleura, because that is on the side of the membrane that is exposed to the organ or the viscera. So I'm gonna go B, visceral pleura. Visceral pleura is a delicate membrane that covers the surface of each lung, kind of like plastic wrap on a sandwich, except you eat sandwiches and you don't eat lungs. And if you did, well, well actually you can eat lungs, but most people don't eat lungs, but yeah, you can't eat your lungs. Question number nine. The head, neck, and trunk makes up the blank region of the body. A, parietal, B, plural, C, axial, or D, appendicular. Well, we know that parietal refers to your head, so it's not just, doesn't make up just the head part of the body. And we know that plural refers to around the lungs, so it's not that either. We have either C or D, axial being everything that is in the center part of the body, and D being appendicular, which is everything on the outside, which are your arms and your legs. So we know the answer here is C, the uh, axial part of the um, skeleton. This is also an anatomy question. Axial, like axis, an invisible line about which something rotates, like the axis of the car or the axis of the earth. It's like the middle part, you know, like the middle part. Last but not least, question number 10, final question of the physiology one of the anatomy section. The word anatomy is most similar to which word? A, morphology. That was a, a physiology question. It's not. B, physiology. C, cytology. D, hemolytic. I would say that that is most similar to the word morphology, because that's the appearance and, and how the body looks. I would say it's most similar to that. Certainly, cytology doesn't refer to the study of cells, um, and hemolytic refers to anything which causes the lysis or the destruction of blood cells, so it's not that. And physiology describes the function and the description of the processes that allow the body to function, so I'm not going to say that. So it's like most similar to morphology. Wow. So I've got my 10 answers. So now I'm going to get my score. What? I didn't get 100%. I'm going to check to see what, I, what I, I got wrong here. Oh, yes, they're right. The lesson of the day is always read the questions carefully. And I was like so high and mighty today that I just you know, thought I would breeze through this and didn't have to read the questions carefully. So I got a 9 out of 10 on this part. And that's because, and I'm sure some of you are saying this, because I screwed up the answer to question number one. Let me read it again. The process of moving digested substances through the membrane of your small intestine would be called, and I said digestion. This is not even really a test. This is like a quiz. This is like a baby quiz. This is like a baby quiz. The important part of the question is through the membrane, not through the small intestine, because if you're going through the small intestine, that's digestion. But if you're going through the membrane of the small intestine, that's absorption. So yes, they're right, I'm wrong, I only got nine out of 10. This is not even the first page of a test. This is like the, the warm up. This is what happens before you write your name on the page, because they want to just see if you're awake. Because they want to just see if you're awake. So can I pass a high school biology test? So I, I think that clearly the answer is yes, I can pass a high school biology test. Yes, indeed. And now I was hoping to get 100% on this biology test cold, and I didn't do that. I might have to do a makeup test. I got this, baby. So I guess that's it for today. If you like the video, be sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified when we post new content. Because like, what else would you be doing? Reasons one, their leading score, Carmelo Anthony, 27 plus. If you're a part of the Return to Intern Army, <laughs> 
Be sure to hit the like button and share this video with a friend. And as always, that's been a word from Dr. Chris, not your everyday ortho.